Any of my fellow content creators can agree with me when I say that trying to get videos or pictures of your villagers in your builds is completely impossible. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Dahlia and today we are back on Grim Isle doing a new build today. Um, if you guys can probably tell by the title of the video, today we're decorating Coco's house and Coco is the newest villager on my island after I just went recently villager hunting on my last video on this island and immediately after getting her I automatically knew what I was going to be doing for her home. The idea just like immediately came to me. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited. So is Coco. Apparently she's hanging out with us today. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. We're getting really close to 10k and it helps me out so much if you guys support and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content and would like to see more videos from me. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First thing we have to do is head over to the resident services and customize Coco's house. I wanted to go with a very rustic, kind of dark, darker color for her roof um, because a lot of the decorating I'm going to be using is like a lot of more wood accents. Um, I threw a random like um, mushroom wreath onto her house but because this is going to be a kind of nautical build I'm going to be throwing down the um, like the ship helm um, whatever that's called, wreath later on. Um, but heading back to the secret beach, as you guys can probably tell by the title of the video, um, we're making a tavern for Coco and it's kind of like a fishing port tavern. So like when, um, like ship captains get off of their boats, they can head over to the tavern for a bite to eat and a drink. Um, and this entire build, this section of the build, is heavily inspired by a fellow Animal Crossing YouTuber, Giomo. Um, hopefully I'm pronouncing the name of their YouTube channel correctly. Um, but they just recently made a build extremely similar to this one where they made like a fake fit, like a fake dock, a fake um, water area with some boats. And I immediately loved this idea. I was going to do something a little closer to the other fishing docks I've done in past videos. Um, but I wanted something a little bit different and I thought this was fun, a little more unique to the actual... Um, build I'm doing a little more closer to my theme. So yeah, we're making like this little fake fishing Port area and then directly to the left. We're gonna have Coco's house um, Along with the tavern So I quickly time travel to have her house moved and I originally had this more like grayscale um, Tile put down. I really didn't like it. I thought it was too light for the color scheme so I quickly replaced it and we're throwing down this cobblestone as kind of like the main flooring for the tavern. I actually haven't gotten a chance to use this tile yet so I'm really excited to finally get a chance to bring it out because I love how like dark and more like grayish black it is um, and then I'm also expanding out the water just a little bit and if you are curious about any of the custom designs I'm using in this build they will all be linked in the description um, along with the cre uh, creators um, social media if they have them available so feel free to check out me my descriptions if you would like to see any of the custom designs I use for my, my any of my islands um, so directly behind Coco's house I'm just placing the the castle wall um, towards the end of the video I'm also going to be um, kind of creating a wall to the left of the house um, just to kind of build up a little bit of the cliffs to the area just so I have a general idea going forward what the area is gonna look like um, but I promise you there's no terraforming in this video which is honestly some of my favorite builds to do when it's mainly just um, decorating and using custom designs because I'm not the best at terraforming. It's not my favorite thing to do. Um, so it's fun to just take a quick little break and just be more creative with um, custom designs and furniture. So um, I'm finishing extending out the pathing and then I'm placing the log stakes along the fake bridge. This is meant to act kind of like a fence but a little bit of a better 
way of fencing in my honest opinion. One, because I love the way that the log fencing looks along fake land bridges. It's not my first time using them as um, fencing, but also, I don't know. It allows you to be a little more fancy with the placement of it. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but I really like the way that it looks. Um, I've used it across many of my islands and this is a lot of fun, especially when you're making fake bridges. I don't know. I think it's a lot of fun to experiment with like fake fencing. So I'm just expanding them a little bit because I want to be able to put um, some wheat fields and um, leaf piles down um, on the actual land bridge later, which is why making land bridges are so fun because you can actually place items on them as opposed to like regular bridges. Um, and then I'm placing the storefronts um, directly beside Coco's house. This is just going to act like um, kind of like the roof and the backdrop of the actual um, tavern. So I know I did say throughout making this island I wasn't going to use any like electricity or like modern day items because this is meant to be a medieval island. I really wanted to use the boats so I just have them placed on the water. This is the only electrical item I'm going to have on my entire island, I promise. I pinky promise. <gasps> Poppy? You know you can't go back on a pinky promise. Um, and then because I wanted to completely section off the water, I'm using the stone fencing. I haven't actually used this fencing before on any island, I think, but I really love how it looks in contrast with the water and the stone element is a nice touch up against like the brick that I have for like the castle items and everything. I just think it works very perfectly for the surrounding area. Um, so I quickly went and grabbed some trees and I'm just planting a few around the area. I won't be using a ton of trees in this build because this is mainly um, a build that requires a lot of terraforming or a lot of um, custom designs on the ground, but I did want to place a few of them down. And then heading back to the tavern, I'm placing the simple panel designs in front of the storefronts. I'm using this kind of like bar shelf, and then this other custom design that looks like glasses and, and plates along a shelf. And then to the left of Coco's house, I wanted to put kind of like a wine barrel area so I'm placing these simple panels that have like the wine barrels in front of them and then tons of sideway um, pirate barrels they're meant to act like wine barrels essentially um, and I didn't use any light barrels in this like area I liked how the dark barrel color looked and didn't want them to contrast too much um, and then for the actual bar tavern tables. I'm using the antique tables and the ranch chairs. So I like them like they're like both like dark wood, kind of contrasting because they're not the exact same color of wood, but they're like close enough. Um, and then on the antique tables, um, I'm going to be placing some um, like different variations of hot foods. I'm using some soups and porridges that we have in the game along with some like tea. You'll see me as I'm placing it down. Um, and then this is me realizing I needed more space. Um, I wanted to put at least two tables. I end up actually placing down four, um, which given the amount of space that I end up using for this build, totally fine. But initially I didn't think this build was going to be as big as I made it to be. Um, so now I'm just placing down the other antique table like I mentioned. And on this one, we're gonna be putting um, a cup of tea. And I'm really sad. I really wish that we had more options for um, glasses in the game. Like we have the decorative bottles. I wish we had like a singular bottle that could act like a a bottle of beer or like a beer can or a beer mug or even like a glass of wine you have none of those things so you have to be a little more creative um, but anyway now I'm actually placing like the tavern section area you'll see that I put the suspicious cauldron this is still meant to be like um, a witchy tavern so like she's brewing up something other than like tea and other drinks for her guests. Um, and then beside her house, I'm placing tons of barrels, um, some decorative bottles, and then on the actual tabletop in front of the bar, I'm just kind of placing 
very random miscellaneous items, some um, additional food items, like some cake, and um, another thing of soup. I use like the bamboo shoot soup, the minestrone soup. I wanted it to be very like warm and cozy. Um, but also to give like the illusion of like water people drinking or water people being served. Like, cause you have these, these soups and these, these bowls, but this really weird suspicious cauldron. Um, and then you have like the, the, the cross, cross skull and bones on one of the, the barrels. Like it's very like cute and cozy, but at the same time, kind of like not safe. What? If that makes any sense, which is kind of like the vibe I'm going for, for this island. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, and then, um, Boys Crossing just released a bunch of new custom designs for their new island, and they made this really cute witch's brew sign. Um, so I wanted to put that on the wedding sign, and it just looks so cute. Um, I would just, I just love it. Look how cute this is. I'll have this linked in the description as well if you guys want to download it. I'm so excited for Boys Crossing's new, um, theme they're doing like a witchy forest kind of theme i think and considering i'm doing like a witchy theme myself right now it's um i'm very excited to see it um and then just to kind of cut off the harshness of the lines from like the water to the grass i just placed a bunch of wheat fields similar to what um the um Animal Crossing YouTuber that I mentioned earlier, uh, Giomo, uh, decorated for theirs, which, like, incredible use of the wheat fields to, like, cut off the sections of, like, harshness when it comes to custom designs against, like, the grass or against other parts of the, the, the grass, like, this, the ground. Um, and then for this area in front of the water, I'm just creating, um, a very, very messy, um, fishing area so you have some of like the fishing racks um a couple of fishing rod stands a bunch of jail bars just because i liked how they looked in the spots honestly um and that's basically it i didn't want to actually make like a full fishing port i wanted it to be um extremely run down and abandoned like the rest of my island and i wasn't about to have this section be a lot more put together i wanted it still to be very messy um so i'm just kind of placing items down at random um in this corner bit area um i placed a couple of barrels a couple of wooden um boxes and really just like random things you would find throughout my entire island. Um, I put a creepy skeleton because I'm trying to throw those in in, in like random little spots. And I decided to put the treasure chest kind of hidden behind a tree. I just thought it was a cute little touch um, as if pirates visit this island. This is like another little element to add to like the creepiness of the island. Um, and I really like the way that this area turned out. I think it's very messy and um, different than the other fishing ports I've built because almost every island I've done, I've made some form of fishing dock or fishing port or fishing harbor. Um, and yeah, and then, like I said, I wanted to place some wheat fields on this fake, um, bridge, and I love the way that it turned out. I think it looks so cool. Um, and then I cannot forget my giant vines. I'm using giant vines throughout my entire island. Um, once again, adding to that overgrown element. And I haven't included a lot of this in the actual video, but I created this, um, path using this like this is like a brown mossy grass path i've been using on my island for some of my more like woodsy spaces and i'm actually going to be using this as my like my general path or my trail which i'm going to be extending along the right side of my island we don't include that in this video but i kind of wanted to show you that this is like why i placed it down um and it's meant to just kind of act like a does a general path that people can follow. Um, and then in front of Coco's house, I just quickly extended out the, um, tile I was using along the border, um, because I wanted to place some hedges and then I'm going to be placing some more stunted trees in front of the, 
um, area and then just kind of extending out the pathing a little bit more. Um, and that's essentially it for like the majority of the actual building part of the video. Now I'm just going to be placing down some of my spooky items. This is something I always tend to leave to the end of the video just to kind of throw down um, random spooky items just to add a little bit of um, more of that spooky element. This isn't a Halloween island but it does take place in the fall and I wanted to include the spooky items because um, I think they're just, I don't know, they're a lot of fun to decorate with. Um, and then I quickly time travel to grow those trees in. Like I mentioned, I'm going to be stunting some trees in front of Coco's Tavern. Um, and then I'm also running around and planting some shrubs and a couple of flowers too, just to add a little bit more greenery to the area. Um, and then essentially we'll be finished with the build. I just wanted to like go around, plant a couple of more... Um, like weeds and things and then making sure to stunt all of my trees um, and the proper heights. I didn't want them to be too tall because I didn't want to block the actual view of Coco's house um, so I made sure that they're on like the second to third day of growth which honestly for that section I think works perfectly um, and then like I said I was gonna be extending the cliffs to the left here is the um, abandoned library I built with my museum um, and I'm gonna be probably creating um, a section for a villagers home on this cliff beside me um, but I just wanted to place a couple of castle walls just in this corner par um, area here really just to give myself like a feeling of completion for this space I didn't want to leave it completely bare and also this is most likely how the area is gonna look in the end so I just kind of wanted to place the items and get it out of the way and just kind of like you know complete the space a little bit and then I placed a couple of um, trees down I didn't really go into decorating this section I'll probably just go back and place a couple of more um, flowers and um, shrubs and things like that but I just threw down what I had in my pockets essentially and then I just finished out the um, hedges around Coco's house and then we're gonna time travel to later on in the day I'm gonna be setting my dream address um, to like the evening kind of like when the Sun is setting um, I'm not sure if I should do like golden hour or if it should be more like um, like when the sun is actually already dipped and then the sky looks a little more like that bluish color. Let me know in the comments because I've done some walkthroughs for my final builds in both of those times of day and I like both of them. Like I'm so indecisive. Let me know in the comments if I should do like golden hour or more like twilight. Um, so last thing I did is I kept forgetting to put these serving cards down. Um, so I just put a serving card down with a, um, simple kettle and that is essentially it. Just kind of like, you know, doing those last little finishing touches. Um, but yeah. Uh, oh, and I forgot to decorate my secret beach. I quickly just placed down, um, a log bench and then a flimsy fishing rod. I just wanted to make it walkable, um, so that you can get to Red's. I actually haven't talked to him yet, so he is still hanging around the island. Um, hoping to get some pictures of him in this area, but anyway, quickly time traveled to, twi uh, to like the nighttime, like I said, it's around like five o'clock in the game. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys the final result. So without further ado, let's do our final walkthrough.
All right, that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, thank you to anyone who recommended that I get Coco for this island because I think that this area is just so perfect for her. Um, and I'm so happy with the way that this final build turned out. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you would like to see more videos from me. And yeah, that is everything for today. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.